Uh, I, find, I don't know why I find it so difficult. English heritages. English heritages. Okay, <laughs> I could do this. On English Heritages YouTube channel. I keep pausing every time I say English Heritages just to check that I'm saying it right. Hi everyone and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. This is only the second of these weeklies and as of when I'm recording this, we've actually only just started to release the intros. So my transgender announcement and also the introduction video that explains a little bit about these weekly videos. So at the moment, I don't know how it's being received, so I will comment on that in future vlogs. But in this week's vlog, I have two really cool things to talk to you about and they are the English Heritage shoot that I did last November, which the video from that is just coming out now. And the second is about a local climbing meetup called Frygay. So let's launch first off into the English Heritage shoot. In October, November, 2021, Myself and my girlfriend Frankie were asked by English Heritage and Craghoppers to take part in one of their videos that showcases one of English Heritage's walks. And this walk in particular was really special because it joins up two of English Heritage's properties, which are Helmsley Castle and Revo Abbey. But there were so many things about that day that I really, really loved. The first was that it was due to be really overcast all day, but instead we had this beautiful wintry sunny day and just the light for the whole day was just so beautiful it just really made the whole walk and the whole experience of capturing this film together really really special but not only that we were also joined by the incredible people from both English Heritage and Woven Films Lauren from English Heritage was there and then Joel, Dan and Francis all from Woven Films they were just so amazing to work with and for me being on the other side of the camera it was a real joy, to be honest. I really, really enjoyed my time presenting for this video and really feeling as if I was in safe hands with this film crew. We had a script written for us and I have to admit, this is the first time where I've had someone else write me a script. <laughs> and I have to admit, because of these YouTube videos, I was feeling kind of confident about knowing my lines, but Frankie wanted to do some extra prep the night before. And actually, if I'm being honest, I was really glad that we did it because when we shot it in late November, we had really limited daylight hours and the shoot itself ended up being super tight doing the full walk. We obviously had to have enough time to stop and do our piece to cameras. The team at Woven Films were buzzing around to make sure they, they could capture all the B-roll that they possibly could to really showcase this walk at its finest. And by the time we got to Revo Abbey, we didn't have very much time until the light disappeared, but genuinely, I take my hat off to them because they captured everything so beautifully. The thing that made this shoot and this walk so special for me though, was to have the support of these two big brands and organisations. So English Heritage and Craghoppers, I'm out to them both as a trans individual, and for them to invite both of us to go and do this walk as a couple was just beyond anything. It was so special. I really appreciated being able to have this experience with Frankie and then to also have it encapsulated in this really beautiful video that Woven Films have just pulled together so brilliantly. I really will just treasure this video forever. So on that note, if I can encourage you to go watch the video, I've put the link in the description below to English Heritage's YouTube channel. Please do check it out. Please hit the thumbs up. Please write lovely comments. Leave as much love as you possibly can on it. I'd be so, so grateful. The second thing that I want to share with you is about a local climbing LGBTQIA plus meetup called Fry Gay at the Climbing Hangar in Sheffield. This is the first time that I've managed to go. They've been running these for the past few months and I've been gutted every time that I've not managed to go to one. So I was so glad that I could finally go to this one. And honestly, it was just super joyous. To be in a group of LGBTQIA plus people, some of which I'd met before, but actually most of them I hadn't, 
was just so brilliant and to be able to go and do one of my favourite activities together, all cheer each other on, be full of stoke and with the guidance of some of the staff there too, some of them kind of coached us a little bit, gave us a few tips. All of it was just so brilliant and I left the event just absolutely buzzing. I honestly can't tell you just how much it means to me to have events and meetups like this where you feel truly safe and welcomed and as if you belong. And the fact is, is that the LGBTQIA plus community on a daily basis don't feel as if we belong. And so to just have a small amount of time where all of those concerns can just fade away and you can just be yourself in a safe environment, it's beyond sort of something that you can really describe. As I get older, I feel as if I become more and more aware of places where I don't feel comfortable and where I don't feel like I belong. And so that's why these spaces are so important. Having this unspoken agreement almost that you understand the other person and that you're not going to be judged for who you are. So when you get that temporary release where you don't have to be concerned about that, it is just a huge weight lifted off. Probably one of the biggest weights that I carry around is that concern. And so it's liberating to be in a safe space like that, where I can just be myself and be accepted. So I send a huge, huge thank you to The Climbing Hangar in Sheffield for holding events like that and for just being so overtly supportive of the LGBTQIA plus community. Because I guess it sounds overstated, but right now, a place like The Climbing Hangar is really changing my life. It is contributing so much to my life. I mentioned in my intro video that I spend a lot of time there working and then climbing. And it's because I feel really safe there. That I don't even know if some of the staff there know the impact that they're having, but yeah. They are contributing so positively to my life at the moment and I am just so, so grateful for that. So, as always with these weekly vlogs, I'll be ending on an update on my transition and essentially where we are right now is that if you've watched my intro video you'll know that I am currently waiting for my endocrinologist appointment which is mid to late February it's about a month away and in order to have that appointment I needed to get some blood works done so that's what they requested of me was to get um, a series of blood works done and sent over to them and I suppose the point of that is that they have a starting point so the when I begin testosterone, they'll know what my blood work was like before I started and therefore they've got a point of comparison for if anything is going awry with me being on testosterone. <laughs> thing is though, is that me being me, sometimes on big things, I procrastinate. And they don't even have to be that big, they just maybe have to be a little bit poignant and getting the blood works done is obviously quite poignant. So I kind of procrastinated in getting them done and finally finally I've now got the results I have sent them over to the endocrinologist <laughs> the results are just sitting in my inbox for a little bit too so I procrastinated even sending them to the endocrinologist I don't know if anyone else gets that do you I don't know what it is but now we're finally here and I just want to celebrate the fact that I finally sent off these blood works to them because that feels again like another tick of something that I've done to continue this process of moving in the right direction for me. A friend of mine, Kate, um, we were having uh, a chat the other day and we came up with this phrase of T minus the number of days until I start testosterone. And I don't know if I'm gonna start testosterone on that very first day when I have that call with them. I don't know if it's just a consultation or and if they need a second appointment or whether they can prescribe me testosterone there and then. So when I come round to that appointment, I will let you know as soon as I know myself. But yeah, but T minus however many days seems to be pretty poignant and apt. So um, as it is from today, let me have a quick look at my calendar. 
So as of today, it's T minus 25 days until I'm on T. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> so that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do take a watch of the English Heritage video, give it loads of love and let me know what you thought of it. And also, please do let me know if you have a local meetup group that has been really supporting and adding to your life. I'd love to know about them and I'd love to know who they are. And then perhaps in future videos, I can also give them a shout out. So yeah, please do write them in the comments and let me know. Also, something else that I need help with is a sign off. <laughs> I've been told by a few people that I need a good sign off in these vlogs and I don't know what to do for them. So um, the T minus, uh, joke that I made earlier could be one but I don't know how to encapsulate that into a sign off so any suggestions there would be very welcome but yeah if you've got any ideas again please do write them in the comments let me know and the best one two three I don't know how many I'll pick I might sort of cycle between a few different ones the best ones I will start to use and just find a better way to sign off these videos which now leaves me with the very awkward task of signing off this video with no sign off so I'll just say thank you again <laughs> for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you liked this video and I will see you next week with a new vlog. Thanks very much. See you later.